now. President Uhuru Kenyatta has rewarded several political rejects and deployed a number of old hands in his latest appointments to boards and state corporations. The political rewards are part of the promises he made to those who lost out in the Jubilee Party nominations last year. Now, several allies of NASA leader Raila Odinga have also been accommodated in the new appointments, seen as a result, direct result of the March 9th handshake. Francis Gashuri with that story. Before he left the country for Canada on Tuesday evening, President Huru Kenyatta made appointments to various boards and parastatos. In the state appointments gazetted yesterday, those who faltered in the August general election were handed a lifeline, with Kenyatta also placing trusted old hands in strategic government agencies. Benjamin Cheboy, Suleiman Shabal, and Godana Doyo, who unsuccessfully contested in gubernatorial races in Baringo, Mombasa, and Isiolo counties, were appointed chairman of parastatal boards, Latil Elite, who lost to Naisula Lesuda in the Samburu West Parliamentary Race, was also handed a lifeline. Retired President White Baki's daughter Julie was appointed to the Kenya Investment Authority. Other post parliamentarians appointed to head government agencies include Rafael Timalo, David Wafula Lazaro, Zainabu Chizuga, and Grace Kiptui. Former Vice Chair of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC Lillian Mahiri Zaja, was appointed to the Energy Regulation Commission. Comedian Vincent Mutua, popularly known as Chipu Kizi, was appointed a member of the Nakada Board. Kenyatta also entrusted Kenya Railways and National Social Security Fund, NSSF, to his old allies, Michael Waweru, a former director general of the Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, will chair the Kenya Railways Board, while former Chief of Defense Forces General Julius Karangi will head the NSSF Board of Trustees. Former Laisamis Member of Parliament Joseph Lakuton was also appointed the trustee of the NSSF Board. Former chairman of the Kenya National Union of Teachers, Nat Muzonzili, will chair the National Irrigation Board, with Peter Kinyo being reappointed chairman of the Kenya Forest Services. Former military boss, General Joseph Kibwana, will head the Kenya Port Authority Board. Gesho Motachi's tenure at the helm of the Geothermal Thermal Development Authority was extended by three years, with former Principal Secretary Joseph Tekolo Poetum picked to chair the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation Board. Charles Owino, Rita Kavashe, Wanyala Iyai, and Kareli Kinyo also landed parastato board appointments. In what could be seen as fruits of the March 9th handshake between President Kenyatta and NASA leader Raila Odinga, at least three allies of the former Prime Minister have landed parastato jobs. Former Rango Member of Parliament Martin Ogindo will be a member of the Agricultural Development Corporation with Karoli Omondi appointed to the National Oil Corporation Board. Former Ndiwa Member of Parliament Agustin Neto was appointed to the National Environment Management Authority Board, NEMA. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live, at one.